Downtown Minot is going to be getting a splash of color. Artist Guido Van Helton is in town planning and preparing for an art project on an old grain silo. KX News' Corbin Warnock talked with the artist who is about to add some life to the Magic City. The Union Silos Public Art Project is an effort to turn the Old Farmers Union Co-op silos into a giant work of art. It's located on First Avenue Northeast in downtown Minot. Tim Bauman, the community builder for this project, says Guido Van Helton will be taking it on this project to acknowledge our agricultural history. It's an opportunity for us to bring some new life into that portion of downtown um, and to create something that our entire community can enjoy, some public art that our entire community can enjoy um, both near and far. Van Helton's goal is to make sure it'll be part of the city for a long time to come. He also says it's a very big and important task ahead of him. For me, it's always a, a, a huge honor to be given such a big space to work on, and it also comes with a lot of responsibility. So I really am just focused on that. As of now, he doesn't know what the design will be, and he will continue exploring his options until he's finally up on the wall painting in the early summer. Van Helton says this process is a big part of the project preparation. For me, my ideas flow with uh, what I discover about a community and a place, and I'm not ever coming to a, to, a, to a community with preconceived ideas or designs, and I develop the designs through a uh, process of, of listening and, and, and hearing input and gathering information, taking photographs and, and exploring the community and finding something that is representative of a feeling uh, of this place. While Van Helton has worked in other parts of the Midwest, he hasn't worked here in North Dakota before, and he's excited to finally experience what our state is all about, because he is passionate about small communities and towns. Guido Van Helton only works in his monument project on one silo per state, so the fact that Minot is going to get this project is a really cool thing for our community. Um, and then a lot of communities just don't have large format art like this. Bauman says what Van Helton paints will be a reflection of the community of Minot. And he adds it will be a good way to bring in tourists and create a sense of place for those in Minot. Reporting for KX News, I am Corbin Warnock. Van Helton says the project is going to take him anywhere between two to three months to finish and he'll get to spend quite a bit of time up on a boom lift to get to the top of the silo. To, uh, to the top of the artwork. He says he doesn't know how much the materials are going to cost. He says his projects usually cost more than what he initially plans for, but that's, I guess, like anything in life. Let's take a look.